Since forming Concepts began in 1980, the goal of everyone in the company has been seeking better solutions to concrete forming problems. In 1985, Forming Concepts developed the True Beam Gang Form. Since then, this system has been successfully used on many types of projects such as wastewater treatment plants, foundations, dams, retaining walls, and high-rises. In 1990, Forming Concepts designed a hydraulically operated lifter system which will raise a complete elevator core in 25 minutes without the use of a crane. The following scenes are of an actual project on which the Forming Concepts True Lift System was used in conjunction with the True Beam Gang Form to construct a triple core elevator shaft at 1 North Franklin Street in Chicago. The core form was approximately 30 feet by 90 feet and was hydraulically jacked up 42 stories. In some cases, contractors have chosen to assemble the true beam gang forms on the job, such as these workers are doing. However, in most cases, contractors have elected to have the large true beam panels assembled by forming concepts. These panels, up to 12 feet by 32 feet, can then be loaded on a flatbed truck, as you see here, and transported to the job. A special permit may be necessary, but not an escort. Here you can see the temporary brackets bolted to the wall to initially support the forms while they're being set. An initial pour of about 8 feet is a handset to provide a place for the brackets to be installed. Notice the large anchors in the wall that will eventually support the jack bracket. The large true beam gang form is being hooked up to the crane in preparation to set it in place on the temporary brackets. The shaft form is starting to take shape as the various true beam gangs are set in place. Notice that each gang is numbered to correspond with the form layout drawings. This saves confusion on the job figuring out what gang goes where. Temporary braces hold each form on the brackets until all the components are connected into a rigid form. Again notice the panel numbering to expedite assembly. Here the interior core forms are almost completely assembled lacking only the corners to complete. This carpenter on the form is installing the interior stripping corner. Here the steel I-beam superstructure is being set in place. The main carrier beams will be resting on the 60 kip jacks. These jacks can lift up to 13 feet 6 inches without being reset. All the forms will be hung from this grid of I-beams. This scene shows the walkways the contractor will install in the field on the brackets provided. These walkways completely encircle the form for safe access for the workers. The channels from which the walkways are hung are set back about three feet to allow the forms to roll back off the concrete to clean and oil the forms. The red trolleys shown here on the I-beam flange are what allows the form to roll back. Once the forms and I-beam superstructure are in place, a platform is installed over the superstructure. This provides for a place to store tools and other items. A shed can be built to protect the hydraulic controls and also to provide a place for the crew to take a break during inclement weather. A portable toilet may also be set up on this platform. Access openings are framed in and provided with safety rails. An opening is provided at the wall line to place concrete. This is a shot of the stripping corner that provides relief. Notice the three holes in the end of the channel whales with the drift pin. By driving this pin into the proper holes in sequence, the form is drawn in to strip or push out to set for a pour. One of the 60 kip jacks shown with the pump and motor. The form is now almost completed and ready for concrete. This scene shows the exterior form rolled back off the wall prior to lifting. In this scene, the corners are stripped to provide relief. Notice the forms are back about one half inch from the concrete. These are the water levels that monitor the form at each jack position. The form must come up relatively level to prevent it from being racked or jammed. There is one switch for each pump motor plus a master switch. With the master switch in the off position, the pump switches are turned on. The master is turned on. 
The superintendent watches the levels and listens to the comments on the radio from the form watchers. Notice how he works the motors to initially break the form loose. When the form watchers let him know that everything is loose, he proceeds to lift the form, all the while monitoring the levels and listening to the form watchers for any signs of a part of the form jamming or any uneven lifting of the jacks. Notice the I-beams slowly moving past the rebars. The whole shaft form is lifted up at one floor in about 25 to 30 minutes. Many other contractors have availed themselves of the cost-saving efficiency of forming Concept's True Lift Elevator Shaft Form. The contractor for the Allegheny County Jail in Pittsburgh used this system for two 22-story triple-core elevator shafts, as well as the retraction frame True Beam Gang Form on the 12-story single-core stair shafts. More recently, the True Lift system has proven its worth on several projects in Las Vegas, Nevada. This picture is the new Circus Circus building as it nears completion. The same contractor was working with a crane handled system on another nearby building, so an excellent cost comparison could be made. The result was that even with a more experienced crew on the crane handled system, the Forming Concepts True Lift system far outperformed the other with substantial cost savings. Pictured in these next two photos is the True Lift elevator shaft form being set up for the new Caesars Palace building. Most of the workers on this job had worked with other form systems and were very familiar with the drawbacks of screw-type jacks, stripping corners, and other details found on those systems. They were very pleased to find that the lifting power of the hydraulic system used with the Forming Concepts True Lift System eliminated the problems they had had with jacks in the past. They also had many positive comments for the True Lift stripping corners as well as other details incorporated into the True Lift system which made their job easier and the system more productive. Now that you have seen the Forming Concepts True Lift self-rising elevator shaft form in action on a job, keep the following points in mind. Points which can save you money. One, the True Beam True Lift shaft form eliminates the use of expensive crane time to move the forms from floor to floor. Two, the True Beam True Lift shaft form allows more crane time for other critical operations and every high-rise contractor knows there is never enough crane time available. Three, the True Beam True Lift shaft form is a proven system, having been used by contractors in Chicago and Pittsburgh successfully. Four, forming concepts as with all our jobs provides complete engineering for the True Lift system. Five, Forming Concepts provides experienced field service to help train your crew in the assembly and operation of the True Lift system. Six, Forming Concepts can assemble the True Beam gangs into large panels to help reduce on-site labor costs. All of this helps you to complete a profitable project. So keep in mind for your next high-rise building, the Forming Concepts True Lift system is the one to put more money in your pocket. For your next high-rise project, call one of our experienced representatives to review your job and provide you with a complete and accurate proposal. Remember, Forming Concepts specializes in providing practical solutions to forming problems.